Hello Class 5-1 Orange Group, Mr. Waterman here with today's language arts lesson on Tuesday, September 7th, 2021. We are in our grammar workbooks. We are going to review the activities that you started on Friday on pages 73 and 74. So please check your answers. And then I'm going to go in to today's test on verb tenses which is on pages 75 and 76. I hope you all have had a good morning so far and are safe and well. Okay, so let's review what we looked at on Friday. Our bullet points on Friday. We learned that in poetry, a line may not be a complete thought or sentence. A thought or sentence may break into two or more lines. In point two, we learned, if a line of poetry ends with a comma or a period, the reader should pause. We learned that no pause is necessary if a line ends without punctuation. In point three, we learned that in many poems, each new line begins with a capital letter. For the directions, we had to rewrite the poem. We had to punctuate it correctly, using commas and periods where necessary. Be sure to capitalize letters correctly. Next to each line of the poem, write whether the line is written in the past present or future tense. So we did the first two together. Let's continue with the poem. People break through the glass to take back their rights. This is in the present tense. Okay. The next line, and run out of darkness and into the light. So what we should do here is we should make this a lowercase a. You can put a comma here and put a lowercase a. Now what tense is this? This is still present tense. This line ends with a period. Next line, women, like warriors, fought for their votes. This should be a capital W because we are starting a sentence. What tense is this? Well, we have the word fought. This should be the past tense. lowercase v here for votes, took back their freedom and realized their hopes. Here we don't need a question mark, we need a period. Scratch that out. And then, this is also in the past tense. All was well once Esther Morris went west. Esther Morris, that should be a capital E, a capital M. Went is in the past tense. We'll write past. We'll put a period here. Finally, she had a vision to change the law for the best. And that's in the past tense. Okay? Now, remember, when you're rewriting the sentences in this poem, as I'm doing, you want to make sure to include all of the corrections that you made above. Now, sometimes when we are writing too quickly, you forget. I'm going to see if I can get this all to fit 
here. I might be able to do that. This is a very important poem here, and I hope you all enjoyed it. And Esther Morris, she encourages people to fight for their rights and not give up. It's important that we learn lessons like this from people in the past, right? And I like this line here. Women, like warriors, fought for their votes. Oops, there. Took back their freedom. and realized their hope. I think I might be able to get all of this. All right, so all was well once Esther, capital E, Once Esther Morris went west, she had a vision to change the law for the best. And there we have it. Okay. After you've checked all of your answers, we'll go on to page 74 and we'll finish the paragraph. So I did the first paragraph for you, or with you, I should say. Let's go back and review these points. This will be helpful going into the test, which is next. So please remember that a verb in the present tense tells what is happening now. A verb in the past tense tells about an action that already happened. A verb in the future tense tells about an action that is going to happen. For the directions, we needed to rewrite the following passage, change incorrect verbs to the proper tenses, and then correct any errors in capitalization or punctuation. Going directly to the second paragraph. So, after some time will pass, that should be past, okay? I'll indent, this is a new paragraph. After some time past, P-A-S-S-E-D, Mr. Benjamin, Cheeks walked by and asked her if she thought South Pass City was a pleasant place to visit. Esther say should be Esther said, past tense. Esther said that her vote was yes to that question. Okay. Next sentence, Mr. Sheiks was, that should be surprised, put a D at the end there. Mr. Sheiks 
was surprised by her reply. He said that women were not allowed to vote. Esther will smile, that's the wrong tense, that should be smiled in the past tense. And so we say, Esther smiled. and asked him why he had asked her the question if he thought she couldn't have an opinion. And there we have it. A lot of writing. But I know you all did very well and you did your best. Once you have finished checking your answers, turn to the test starting on page number 75. Please listen carefully as I read the directions for each part. For part one, read each sentence. Change the underlying verb in the sentence to a verb in the past tense. Okay? You're going to change all of these verbs into the past tense. Please listen as I read the sentences. One, women have the right to vote in Wyoming in 1869. Two, the physician determined that voting was safe for women. Three, the man will refuse to hand over the court docket. Four, Esther Morris challenges the law that prevented women from voting. When you're finished, move on to the next part. Please listen as I read the directions. Choose the correct name for the tense of the underlying verb in each sentence. Circle your answer. Five, Mr. Sheiks apologized for his behavior. Is this A, present? B, past, C, future. Six, gold fever will bring more people to Wyoming. A, present, B, past, C, future. Number seven, Mr. Sheiks went to Salt Lake City. A, present, B, past, C, future. Eight, people remember Esther Morris. A, present, B, past, C, future. You get one point for each correct answer. There will be eight points total on this page. When you're finished, please turn the page. Please listen as I go through the points. This is the second page of the test on page 76. Please remember that a verb in the present tense tells what is happening now. Remember, 
to form present tense singular verbs. Add s to most verbs. Add es to verbs that end in s, ss, ch, sh, x, or z. Remember, if a verb ends with a consonant and y, change the y to i before adding es. Remember that a verb in the past tense tells about an action that already happened. Add ed to most verbs to show past tense. Remember the last point. A verb in the future tense tells about an action that is going to happen. Remember, to write about the future, use the verb will. Here are the directions. Rewrite the sentences. Spell all the verbs correctly. Listen as I go through each example sentence. One, everybody worries about their rights. Two, nobody will forget the day that Esther Morris came to Wyoming. Three, Mr. Sheiks argued against allowing women to vote. Four, the professor invited the inhabitants of South Pass City to the ceremony. Five, Esther Morris tried very hard to be a fair judge. Six, she sings as she passes by the courthouse. Seven, in 1920, all women gained the right to vote. Eight, 19 people will attend the dedication ceremony. Now, for number six, there are two mistakes in number six, two mistakes. I'm going to say to circle the mistakes. Circle the mistakes, then rewrite the sentences. Spell all the verbs correctly. You will get a point for circling, and then you will get a point for rewriting it correctly, okay? Number one, you get two points total. Number three, you will get two points total. Number four, you will get two points total. Number five, you get two points. Number four, number five, two points. Number six, you will get three points because there are two mistakes. Number seven, you will get two points. And number eight, you will get two points. Total number of points on this page, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. 14 and three is 17. There are 17 points possible. Plus the eight from this page, this test is out of 25 points. Good luck. Review all of your points before taking it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or send me a message on Class Dojo. Take care, stay safe and well, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day, stay safe and well, and I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Goodbye for now.